This is part of the battlefield of Cold Harbor in Hanover County, Virginia. It's peaceful enough today, but in June of 1864, over 150,000 troops assembled here for what would become one of the bloodiest battles of the Civil War. Estimates say that 17,000 soldiers were killed here in a matter of just a few days. I was born and raised at Cold Harbor, and I've spent over 50 years walking these battlefields, searching for the relics left behind by the soldiers. Join me today for a relic hunting adventure in historic Cold Harbor. I am the Battlefield Walker. hunting a new permission today. Um, one of the things that's going to be different about my videos is since I've been doing this for so long, I go back over 50 years in relic hunting, uh, I've got some really cool relics that were found years ago. And at the end of every one of my videos, I'm going to feature one of those old finds. And it may be just from a few years ago, or it could be from the 1950s and 60s when my dad started relic hunting. Every one of my videos, when you get to the end, there will be a feature piece about one of those great old relics. So watch till the end, or if I'm boring you now, skip to the end because if you like Civil War and if you like battlefield found relics, there's gonna be some pretty cool stuff there. So we're on a new permission today. I've never been here before. It's a good spot in terms of where we are, but having never been here, I don't know whether we'll do any good or not, but we'll try. I just stepped into the woods to get an idea of where we are. And uh, yeah, we're in the right place. There's a massive trench line here. Sadly, it's been used for a dump but I don't know whether you can see the, the depth of this trench line. Again, it's been used as a dump like many farmers did many times, but that's, that's a beautiful trench line. Look at this thing. Wow. Probably modern. Okay. All right, I've got a piece of iron in the hole. Just a piece of farm iron. Oh, well, we uh, got a good signal here out in the field, and I hadn't, I dug so much trash, I didn't expect it to be anything, but I think, oh yeah, that's a rivet. All right, so we got a, a knapsack or harness or, or, uh, cartridge box rivet. That's pretty nice. Round super hard. I'm digging through concrete. I'm barely getting something right there. Yep, there it is. Finally, Civil War bullet. There she is. Taking a while. Well, it's a gardener too. It's a Confederate bullet. Yeah, it's a nice gardener. So, okay, I'm on the board. I'm digging a lot of modern shells. That just happens. Can't help that. There's there. All right. Little buckle. Oh, it's 
say that to mother. Well, we haven't had a whole lot of luck out here, uh, but we know that there is a massive trench on the property. We're gonna try to go a little bit deeper. This is the machine that I use. Most of you are familiar with it. It's the XP Deus, and I use this sniper coil most of the time, but it's not getting deep enough, I don't think, today. So I'm gonna put this large, uh, deep coil on the machine, and we're gonna try the trench and see how we do. I've already got a signal here. So we'll dig that up and see what it is. This is what we want to hunt with this large coil. See if there's anything deep that the large coil would pick up that my small one would not. All right, got a good signal in the trench right here. Put this on a bunch of roots. It's a pretty good signal. Yep. Getting a tiny signal right there. Yeah, we're getting closer. This is where it would be better to have a little trowel or something. Okay, I hit something. Hello? Hello? Yeah, it looks like a bullet. You want to be careful in this trench. It's been laying here 150 years. And you and me are the first people to see it. Come on out of there, baby. Yep, there it is. So, this was fired by a Confederate. Nice. All right, back on the board again. Well, it hadn't been a great day on the Coal Harbor battlefield. Managed to find a couple of Confederate bullets. But I tell you, just sitting here on this trench, I hope you can see it beyond my shovel there. Just to sit here on this trench in a place that 150 plus years ago was a place of such incredible struggle for so many soldiers so far from home. It's a humbling experience. So I think I'm going to go and get some rest and I'm going to come back another day and try this again because the relics are here. We found a couple of Confederate bullets and and of course discovered this beautiful trench line so we'll be back but it's been good to just be here and be a part of this place so we're on another permission we're still in cold harbor so we'll be in the woods today and uh, we'll see how we do all right we are in the thick of it today but in 2022 can't go in the easy places. Oh, there we go. Look there. It's the first, first Civil War bullet of the day. We've been waiting there uh, over 150 years for us to find it. We are in the thick of Good signal I got down in a little ravine. Got a signal here. Dug it up, it's out of the hole, so let's see if we can find it. Oh, looky there. Another three ringer dropped. Got a good deep signal. The roots of that monster are in my way. Well, it was shallow because I've knocked it out of there. Yeah, just a piece of unidentifiable brass with a little iron rivet through it. Got a pretty good signal right here. Digger, yeah, there she comes. There it is. You see it? That appears to be another Yankee bullet. Yes, that's what it is. Alright. Another Union three ring mini ball. Cold Harbor was the site of two major battles, one in 1862, Gaines Mill. 
and one in 1864 in the Seven Days Battles. This is a spot I've been hunting for many years. This probably has more of the 1862 stuff because it's kind of on the edge. button back from a, it's either a cuff button or a vest button because it's very small, it's not a coat button. But anyway, it's just the back, the front is missing. Here, just a few feet from where I dug that uh, cuff button. Well, I'll be darned, look at that. So I dug those bullets right here and I'm getting another good signal right here. I believe that's going to be more camp lead or a bullet. But whatever it is, we can hear it. I'm pretty sure this is either a bullet or camp lead. Uh oh. I see lead. If you can see right there, that's, uh, that's definitely lead and it feels like it's going to be a complete bullet. And there it is. Thank you. Big old hunk of lead. Either that or it's just got a lot of concretion. Yep, that's all it is. But there you go. Can you see the bullet? Right there. It'll be a pulled bullet. Another bullet beside it. What have we got here? That looks like about a half of a bullet, perhaps melted in a fire or just camp lead. Well, every time I put the camera away, I get another signal. You can see how it's walking its way down the hill. One, two, three. Didn't lie to us. It's in there. The question is, is it, is it a bullet or just a piece of camp lead? Woo! Found another bullet in that hole. Now I'm getting another signal right beside it. But this is how it is in Cold Harbor. Uh, if you got a little spot that people just missed in the past, I'm sure millions of bullets were fired in, in Cold Harbor. So, let's dig this one. Got lucky it missed that route. Big root. Yep, there he is. Now, no, it doesn't look like a bullet, but this soil is just concreted around it. I can tell because of the weight. Yep, there she comes. Union three ring mini ball. Right there. Well, walking the battlefield has paid off today. Call it a day. Hadn't been bad at all here in Cold Harbor. So that's it for the battlefield walker. Now don't forget, stay tuned right after this. We're going to go back in time and I'm going to share with you some interesting piece of Civil War history that was found years ago. The one I'm going to show you in this video was found in 1968 right here at Cold Harbor. So stay tuned for that. I told you that for every video that I publish, there's going to be some old relic featured at the end of the video, something that I pull out of the archival collection, something found years ago. Today's comes from 1968. But before we get to that, let me talk for just a minute about bullets in wood. Bullets in wood are kind of a special thing for a relic hunter to find. They're pretty rare because from the first place, 150 years tends to do a number on buried dead wood. It rots away. 
But uh, the sand of Cold Harbor's been pretty good to these bullets, and I have a few bullets in wood. But the idea of holding in your hand the, these pieces of something that was at one time alive and witnessed the carnage at Cold Harbor, captured one of these bullets fired from a soldier's gun, and that you're able to find so many years later is just a really special thing. This is a round ball and a piece of wood that I kept the little flap that I peeled away when you could see the bullet. This is a favorite because I was hunting a drained pond in Cold Harbor and I stepped across a great big log and as I stepped across the log, I saw this bullet in the log. That's the only bullet in wood that I ever eyeballed. So it's kind of a favorite of mine. Another favorite of mine is this round ball that came from Hanover Farms, which was my grandfather's dairy farm. And I love this one because you can see the channel that the 69 caliber round ball entered, but that's not what I want to show you. What I want to show you is something far more unusual. Bullets in wood are unusual, but way more unusual than that is this. This is a cannonball fragment in wood. This came out of Boson Creek. This wood is surprisingly solid. It looks to be either a parrot or a Hotchkiss. This fragment of a shell was found in 1968, 54 years ago by my dad, Melvin Galding. My theory as to why you don't find very many fragments of shell in wood is I think about the explosive power of that Civil War ordinance. I feel like it probably, in most cases, either blew through the tree or hit the tree and ricocheted off or just blew the tree completely apart. So to find a fragment still lodged in wood, a shell fragment, is pretty rare. You'll see them in a couple of museums. I just think it's a really interesting thing. I'm glad you joined me for our Civil War relic hunt in historic Cold Harbor. If you like what you saw today, I hope that you will like this video, and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. That's all for me. I'm the Battlefield Walker. Be good and say your prayers.